We'll be right back.
face only. The Beard Octane Headquarters. What's going on, everyone? Hippity hop. Hippity hop. <laughs> Tonight's giveaways are over the top. Welcome to the Beard Octane live stream, everyone. Almost caught us off guard. I did. Eric, you did. Where's, where's your bunny head? Uh, I think it's been retired. <laughs> or it's been passed on. Yeah, you passed the torch? Yeah, well, I guess we'll have, to get to that. Yeah. we'll have to get to that little in a little bit. If you guys don't know about the bunny, the I guess the bunny helmet, if you will. Bunny helmet. That's what I called it. Check this Bunny out head. real quick. And uh, make sure you let us know in the poll what you're watching us on. I know we got some people listening to us on the audio. Um, if it's on mobile, on TV, on your computer, let us know. I really love the holidays. I think everyone here at Beard Octane loves them too. <sighs> Why do I have to wear this stupid helmet? I find myself doing little things. Getting them costumes and all these little knickknacks and whatnot. I think it gets them all in the holiday spirit. And it also keeps the morale up around here. Ugh, I hate this stupid helmet! Ah! Bullsh! Happy Easter from our family to yours. That's a class. I, th I think we giggle every time we see that. The, be <laughs> the best part is the helmet, yeah. the rabbit head, the bunny Shoot helmet, or whatever, going flying <laughs> in the background. Because <laughs> when we actually were filming it, I was up top and Eric just taking it and whipping it, like trying not to smoke the paddle fan. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was close one time. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it in a couple minutes, but that, that has since, I guess, been passed along to, I guess, other staff members. I, there's a rank of I guess, according to how long you've been here, a little yeah. seniority of uh, what you got to go through. What, yeah, kind of like we try not to haze each other here at Beard Octane, <laughs> but it, it could happen time to time. So uh, just want to say welcome, everyone, again, went, uh, to the Beard Octane stream. It's now March. Uh, April's right around the corner. Easter, obviously, is on Sunday. Um, we're going to get into what we have going on currently here at Beard Octane, what's coming up. And we got some pretty amazing giveaways We'll show those in just a minute. So why don't we just go ahead and jump into, boom, boom, boom. I think we just jump right into here. Wow, look at that. All right, guys. There's a poll. Let's pull up that poll real quick, actually. Go back to the screen. See what the results were. And poll. Look at that. Boom. And it's I think I just phone. totally deleted the results. Did you? <laughs> Oops! Oh, I got Mike, it. oh, you got him. It says seventy-two percent was mobile. Okay. Fifteen percent computer, nine percent TV, and one percent was listening. Yeah, I think uh, True North was saying he was listening on the uh, the audio. So that's yeah. actually pretty good. So mostly uh, mobile was at seventy-two percent. Yeah, it's pretty. Crazy. I usually have that on if I'm watching. I usually have it like on the TV. Yeah, and then I'm typing comments on the. Yeah, on exactly. The that's like what we do here. So, we're watching like Jay Cruz or Dan or something like that in the shop. We just put play it on the TV on the loudspeaker and then just uh, yeah type the comments and everything like that. So actually, pretty. I mean, website wise, anyways, I think it's usually around eighty two to eighty five percent uh, users is mobile friendly. I mean, uh, just right. device anyway. So it's crazy to see. Uh, Especially when watching streams, everything like that. Everyone's everyone's attached to their phones. Go outside, go for a walk. <laughs> yeah, right. So, all right, guys, let's jump into. I want to get to these giveaways. They've been sitting, put together for like weeks. Yeah, I, I almost a, the loft, almost like. a month. They've been sitting up here, ready, prepared. I got all the stuff in. Thought I was all being fancy. So, all right, guys, just some quick housekeeping uh, tonight. Click on this banner. Our Easter sale is now live. It's ten percent off the entire website. No codes needed. So I know. Um, I actually kind of made a mistake. I got yelled at by Holly this morning that the sale went live a little bit early, but that's okay. Right. Um, so I think most of the day today or if not all of today, this entire site, everything on the site, no codes, 10% off. So head over there or just wait to see if you win a giveaway. Um, and if there's something that you don't win or you want to pick up, now's the time to do it. So Envy, 
is an extra 10% off the, the send of the month. So that we get an extra 20, we get end up getting 20% off of that before any kind of codes in nice. hence. Um, send of the month next month, I believe is cold start. So we'll talk, we'll touch base on that a little bit. Um, lots of laughs. We've got some fun games as usual, some just Easter trivia. Um, and some amazing giveaways as always here at Beard Octane. So if you guys have a question, ask it. I'm going to try to just pay attention to the chat. I'll start and we'll get to a, a part and we'll kind of go over any kind of questions or anything like that where Holly can yell at me to cover this. So um, again, just go in and ask away. If not, we'll have a segment and we'll get to it. And be sure to like and subscribe the stream, please. It's free. It takes a second. We'll wait. Okay, good. Get that out of the way. Good job. All right, what's new here, Beard Octane? We have a new app update, guys. So I know quite a bit of you guys have downloaded the Beard Octane mobile app. It's completely free. It's on the Apple iTunes store and also on the Google Play store. If you guys haven't downloaded it yet, just head over there, download it. it takes two seconds to, to download. It's just a really um, super fast way to cruise to the site. Um, sometimes we have exclusive... Um, promotions or discounts that pop up on the app time to time push notifications you guys typically get early access to any kind of like new product releases um i guess custom seasonal releases you guys get access to that we if you also if you do already have the app make sure you go into it and see if there's an update it should prompt you automatically or it may have already already updated you automatically so we went to a new mobile app um software if you will because the old software, you could not, it wouldn't allow, allow us to integrate your beard bucks, your reward points, and a few, a few other options. So this new mobile app has all those features built into it. It has, you can use a, the live customer support through the mobile app. You can now, like I said, the beard bucks, all that stuff you can access in the new update for the uh, Beard Octane mobile app. So make sure if you don't have it, download it. If you already have it, just make sure it's updated, but it should automatically do it, but just tap into it and you should be good to go. But any questions, support at beardacting.com. We'll get, get you guys scored away. Um, so that's the number one. Last weekend, we had the fishing outdoor yep. show at yep. Mohegan Sun here in Connecticut. Kind of like our first. Last year, we just did the jerky truck. Right. And it's not as big as like the Connecticut Barber Expo. When we did the jerky truck last year, we it was, it was pretty busy. But we noticed that probably... 90% of the guys there all had beards. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. So we're like, you know, let's give it a shot. We're going to we'll put a booth in there. So we just did a, a 10 by 10 booth and it, it went well. Friday was a, a bit slow, but it was one to seven on Friday. So right. I think it's kind of hours that one's at work still. Yeah. But then Saturday, that was crazy. And then Sunday kind of it would start off really good and kind of taper off into the afternoon because Saturday, I, I thought it'd be a little bit busier on Saturday because of the weather. Yeah. With the, well, the, Sunday, it usually does that anyway with. Yeah. Even with the, you know other shows, the barber expos and all that yeah. stuff, it kind of tapers off. But, but no, it's I thought it did pretty, pretty cool good school. there. It was yeah. steady, like from eleven to three. It was yeah, it's pretty steady. Yep. And um, I thought being because I was talking to your dad. Yep. And I was saying I was surprised that I don't. For me, I don't think I sold any neutral products. Is West what I thought you would? Yeah, do just in that instance. But all yeah. the guys were like interested, just like anybody else, in like the scented product. So I was I, like, I would. I was I was surprised. <laughs> a lot of guys, I, the top sellers was Nitro, Nitro right? Uh, Grizzly, yep. MV, um, Liquid Gold. I think yeah. those are probably our four top sellers. But uh, and actually, a lot of uh, the ladies that um, got a got a I guess a sniff of the Nitro, they're they're like, oh my god. Yeah. So so it was actually <laughs> right. cool. We uh, those are the ones we had to restock up on like over the course of the weekend. Yeah. But that was uh, no, it was cool. It, plus, it was a great way to kind of get everything going because we'll get to it a little bit. We have a lot more shows and expos coming up this year for beard octane. So just getting the, I guess the juice is flowing with getting like the, the booth set up and cleaning out the, cause we have an enclosed trailer that we bring all our stuff to the local shows. And so just having everything, I clean that out, get that organized. So we got a busy show season upon us. So it's going right. to be, um, it's going to be good. So no, it was, it was a good show. So, um, yeah, like we talked about our last stream, um, Operating procedures for the um, FDA update. Um, that's still going. That's a lot of behind the scenes work that's going on. Uh, like I quickly mentioned, uh, Connecticut Barber Expo, that's May, the first weekend of May. 
can't remember. Yeah, I think it's like yeah, the first like weekend of May, but four, that's five um, and six or five and something like that. Yeah, that's a Sunday Monday show, but we we try yeah. to get in and set up Thursday and Friday, and we have a we end up doing fifty feet of ex like booth space because we have the jerky truck, and we do thirty feet for beard octane. So obviously it's wow. more, you know, I guess industry specific towards like beard octane. So that's a that's one of our that's probably our biggest event. Well, not this year. So mm-hmm. we get we get a big one. So that's next on the list. That premier Orlando show in June coming up. That's also we'll be traveling to Orlando for that. Oh. That's a huge. Um, it's not so much. It's I don't think it's open to the public. It's more like barbershop, like barbershop, like salon owners that could be coming in. Right. Um. It's really. It's, I think it's like five, six times bigger than the Connecticut Expo. Wow. It's massive. Um. So we got we we're gonna be that's changing crazy. up our booth design layout this year. Um really to show off the the new packaging we'll get you guys thoughts on you guys probably had some time to get the new products in the um the boxes and everything like that right. so really trying to set the brand up and really get into you know more barber shops and everything like that across the country so looking forward to that that's gonna be a a crazy show so um yeah other than that easter sunday what do you um we got for planning for for easter right now it's up in the air yeah um, yeah, like I know you're saying before, weather permitting. Weather, yeah. Rebecca's birthday is on uh, Saturday, so we had plans to do like her birthday slash Easter, uh, but some plans changed with her sister and family. So now, I mean, I asked her, I was like, "What, what day we got to have it?" She goes, "Whatever day is the best weather." So I, she hasn't decided yet. So I don't know. But yeah, whatever day it is, we'll have a good time. Do so. you guys do um like an Easter dinner or anything like that? Well, um. She was gonna ask on that too. I can't remember what we did last year. Yeah, but we try to keep it simple um, because with the kids, they want to do like the Easter egg hunt. Yeah, they want to do you know their Easter baskets. So we just like to have them sit down and try to eat, and then with all that on their mind, because it's kind of like Christmas. Oh yeah, they're hard. All you know, so and- with that, I think we just keep it to like um, like the meat and cheese platter, veggie platter, like yep. easy finger foods. I think the only real cooking holiday we do is Thanksgiving. Yeah. But I think like Easter and Christmas, we just keep it to like, like grazing food, I guess, if you want to yeah. say <laughs> grazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eat your food, Tina. Oh, actually, <laughs> I, don't know if your I don't know if I told you this or I, I totally forget. So on, so the booth set up at the fishing outdoor show at Mohegan, there yeah. is, um, boom. Guys, let us know in the in the chat. I'll tell this quick little story. Just let us know what your guys' plan for Easter is. But just real quick, um, the lady behind us, she has like llamas, everything on her farm. Oh yeah, like yeah, a so, or something. Yeah, like so said, yeah. her, I think her kids play hockey, and they had a Napoleon Dynamite day, like a game <laughs> where the guy who plays Napoleon Dynamite was supposed to go. Yeah. So he went to the event, and they took. She brought her llamas uh-huh. to the That's event cool. as Tina. <laughs> so like, I don't know if they fed a ham or whatever. So <laughs> it was awesome. just funny because I was starting laughing. And he, you know, if you guys seen Napoleon Dynamite, it's one of the funniest, stupidest yeah. movies ever. So it's just kind of funny. Come but eat your ham. Yeah, eat your food, eat your ham. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, for Easter, uh, I think I think we're hosting this year. Okay. We typically do the ham, the stereotypical ham dinner um, early, like around two or three. Uh, you got Big Joe's. He makes his uh, homemade big baked beans. Yeah. His potato salad. Uh, what else are we have? And um, the mashed potatoes, all the, the the typical, but yeah, we'll we'll do the uh, the typical ham. So okay, uh, let's see good. what you guys got going out there. Oh, devil eggs, that's good. Oh, I know how they would definitely be all over that. Yeah, we'll we'll do something. Um, we'll probably have some kind of Easter egg hunt at the. Well, I have, all the kids are getting older now. I'll have it for myself. <laughs> Close your eyes and throw them. Yeah, the exactly. <laughs> Actually, but we we'll, we we'll typically do like the Easter egg hunt, and we'll put like rocks or something in there for the kids, and they get all <laughs> upset. Couple couple pennies. Oh, yeah, I the saw weather. Some, we have Emmett likes to eat like the uh, kielbasa and pierogies. Yeah, and I saw, so I think it was a meme or something, and one of them like was a picture of a pierogi inside an egg. Oh, really? So, like, I told Rebecca, I was like, we should put one do in that. Yeah, put <laughs> oh, one in because yeah, he <laughs> loves whatever we have it. He loves pierogies. So put a frozen one in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, no. So looking forward to Sunday. It's crazy. It's already here. All right, tonight's giveaways, guys. As always, here Beard Octane. Giveaways are earned. There's no freebies here. We're going to get to what they are in a second. How to enter. Um, we're going to have some 
Easter trivia questions and stuff like that, get everyone involved, have some fun with it. And once we get to the point where we're going to do the giveaway, we're going to announce a hashtag. We'll put it on the screen for you guys. And that way you guys type exactly how it is. We have a giveaway tool and it'll automatically like random select everyone. So just make sure you type it exactly as it's put in. So, and then the giveaways live. Boom. Actually, we're not going to answer the question. I think we'll just, whoever gets it, gets it tonight. So we'll, we'll take away the yes or no, because typically we will ask a question and we are, we end up giving it to them anyways. Anyway. But we can, we can figure out. We'll, we'll, mess, we'll mess with you guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Giveaway <clears throat> prizes. Eric, would you grab one of the prizes? <clears throat> Been working on these for like a month. My artist skills. You guys spin around so you see the bow. All right, guys. So, of course, it's an Easter themed show. Ah, <laughs> uh, how do you like that? So, so, we have Easter basket, beard octane, giveaway prizes. So, all the kits, there's uh, they're by scent. We have four of them total. So, we have this one is the victory. So, we have the victory bomb oil, LCW, the victory soap. I believe they're, yep, the soap, uh, Victory Butter. There's a, a red XL Curve Beard Octane brush. And there's nice. also a heated brush in there and a whole bunch of candy in there as well. So make sure you guys brush your teeth after <laughs> yeah. you eat the candy. So, But yeah, no, it's a cool little basket. There's four different scents. We'll get to it. Oh, you did a really good job. Hey, look at that. Let's see that bow. Yeah. And, and the basket came. It's all color themed. Nice. I like that, right? <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself. And it comes with a little card and some stickers in there and stuff. There you so. go. Yeah. A little something. There you go. Thanks, Eric. Candy looks good. Yeah, so I had like half a bag of candy left. I absolutely destroyed it. Oh, last yeah. Week. You have to. <laughs> right to my hips. So, all right. So, we got to the prizes. Let's see where I want to jump ahead too much. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. So have you tried? So next segment, we're going to ask you guys, just let us know in the chat. We'll highlight some answers and stuff like that. Obviously, last room we came out with, uh, we released a few new products, the, the new T-shirts, the everyday carry colognes, the solid colognes, the beard octane packaging. Also, we started, if you guys placed an order with us over the last, I guess, a couple weeks. Uh, last month, anyways, for the samples. Uh, oh yeah, about yeah, month. Yeah, yeah, probably about a month. We've been putting fast. free beard oil samples and <laughs> all the orders now, and this cool little, I guess, packaging. So we've been throwing those in, just a little something extra for you guys. We've been trying to just look at your guys's, you know, what you place in your order and give you something that you haven't tried yet to try to, you know, entice you to buy more from us. Um, but no, so just a little bit of extra has been trying to really just step up the overall appearance and quality of the brand so let us know like i said the solid colognes they came out last uh last month right yeah we released them on the stream so it's a basically instead of the spray cologne solid cologne put on your pulse points smells last six eight hours not overpowering um we have the envy fabricator liquid gold the grizzly and victory i personally have been using between the the envy and victory they're 9.99 on the website they're 10 percent off right now before you use any kind of discount code. So definitely a, a cheap little spend to get yourself pretty cool. And they'll they'll last you. I've been using mine. I'm going on my second month anyways and probably uh, almost halfway through. So you'll get a few months yeah. of use out of it anyways. So if you guys have gotten the EDC, definitely let us know. Um, let's see what we got here. Boom. Yep. That's something we're, we're going we're gonna to definitely... Um, Look at Dylan. We just wanted to kind of start out with the. Yeah, thank you, my PowerPoint skills. Thank you. <laughs> boom, boom. What else we got? Yeah, like I was saying, Bobby, probably a, a good six to eight hours. Because obviously, <clears throat> compared to the effort standards, everything like that, to what percentage the fragrance level can be for like stuff going on your face into like you know beer products, something like that that's a bit lower compared to what you can use in a solid cologne. Cause that's going like on your wrist or, you know, other like different types of skin. So we can go right. higher concentration, if you will. So you're, it's going to last a lot longer than, and it's, and it's designed to be a cologne where you want that scent to be stronger and last longer throughout the day as compared to like 
a beer bomb or butter or oil where it's in your beard directly under your nose. You don't want that overpowering smell that's going to give you a headache and right. and also could burn your skin. So, but yeah, probably a solid at least six to eight hours, you know, no problems whatsoever. So, um, yep. Yeah, just, yeah, this is just a solid cologne, but it's based off the same sense that we have in all the other uh, products as well. So, all right. The new t-shirts, like I mentioned, if you guys grab one of these t-shirts, let us know your thoughts. We went to a softer, I think they're coming in as well, the classic Beard Octane logo, and that's going to come in. It's a still a black t-shirt, obviously, but it's that softer, I don't even know how, what you, uh, like the... I would say fitted, but it, it's a softer. It's not because the other ones. It's was heavier, heavier than like the than those fitted. Tees, yes. Yeah, they're not. It's, it's they're less not like than, thin or anything yeah, like that. But they're it's just less like less than that, like the heavier cotton. Yeah. Cloth. Yeah. So it's that spun cotton where it's a lot softer to the touch, and then also also we came out the built by hard work T shirt as well. That's that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, like awesome. I said before, we're looking at doing that, and we first designed it in color, but then in the black and white on the black T shirt looks awesome. Very fitting for the brand. So yeah. we're gonna try every. You know, so often I come out with some new T-shirt, like, you know, T-shirt series or something like that, something to mix up the swag for you guys. Boom. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you did one. Awesome, Rob. Appreciate it. All right. So we're going to get some votes. I'm going to throw a poll up for you guys. And it's going to also lead into one of the giveaways. Uh, let me just go to my little cheat board right here. All right. What did you do today, Eric? Let the, let everyone know in the in the in the chat how happy you were. I didn't do anything today. <laughs> <laughs> what was today? Today was inventory Yay! day. Yay! <laughs> How'd you make out? How convenient you were gone. I would. I just happened to be at my day job. <laughs> yeah. And the best part is, I can look at the ring cameras, <laughs> and and, and I doing. can tell what everyone's counting. And then when that very, I, it just counting. happened to be when that very last product was counted I, wa I i just happened to get back to the shop so i noticed i noticed <laughs> all right guys i just put a poll up in the chat just let us know our first question is more candy sold on easter christmas valentine's day or halloween what do you think eric it's got to be halloween yeah probably, well i know the answer but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Christmas, Easter's a lot of candy too, though, and that's a lot of like limited. Well, that's the thing too is a lot of the candy's yeah, kind of like you're not given. Like, yeah, it's not like you have people come to your house. Out. Yeah, that, that's true. Well, hopefully, you're not giving out that. So hundreds candy, of kids, I, you know. <laughs> yeah, here you go, kid. <laughs> Happy Easter. Here's 15 bags of candy. All right, let's see what we got out here. Boom! All right, we got Halloween in there. Yes, he said Halloween is candy. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> it's built off of that. All right, let us know, guys. Get I've got in the poll. All right, right now we got Halloween at seventy-one percent. We got Easter at fourteen, wow. Christmas at five, Valentine's Day fourteen. I wish I had the ones for the other. I think I just have the top one. Yeah, Halloween, Halloween's. All right, so I think it's gonna be. I think it will end it right there. I think it's gonna be Halloween. All right, let's find out what this one's gonna be. So you're saying Halloween? It's got to be Halloween. It's probably Christmas. <laughs> ah, Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> yeah, like you said, you got all these kids come to your door for all this candy. So with that, guys, I already kind of well, got this too, prepped there's in more the background. variations of candy up come Halloween, too. So. so with that, our first giveaway, which one do you want to do? Pick one up. A random one. Get ready, guys. Get your little typing fingers ready. All right, guys. This one's going to be for a liquid gold Easter basket. And when we tell you the hashtag, go on and hold that for them, please. Once you guys get the hashtag, we select it. The winner just reach out to support at beardarting.com. Government name, a good shipping address. I'll get this right out to you. All right. Do -do -do. Hashtag candy. Go ahead and Candy. send it. Boom, boom, boom. I got this collecting. We'll find out in a second. Dun, dun. 
What's your favorite Easter candy? Do you have one? Easter candy? Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's like, oh, man. Probably, I don't know, the Easter-shaped York peppermint patties. <laughs> Did they have Easter ones for that? Was it like a bunny they're rabbit? Like no, they're shaped like an Easter egg, like an egg. Oh, I don't think like I ever seen those. Yeah, um, mine would have to be. Oh man, Cadbury eggs. Oh yeah, or I peeps. think Rebecca liked those. Or Peeps. Peeps. I just put those in the microwave. I love the marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Blow them up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Three. Yeah. Three Musketeers. That's a classic right there. All right, we got. 58 entries. We're going to put that up on the screen. All right, guys. I'll give you a couple more, a few more seconds. Get those entries in. Hashtag candy. Get it in there. Who wants liquid gold? Who wants it? And this is, again, for the liquid gold Easter basket. That is going to be for the liquid gold beer butter oil. We got the LCW. We got yes. the soap. Is it the uh, soap? Yep, the bomb, the body soap. You got the brush. And the heated beer brush in there. That's got to be a good assortment of candy in there, too. Yeah, and a good assortment of candy as well. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and send this. All right. Wait, 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 wait. That may be a good one. That may be a good one. Maybe a good one. Oh, too early. Chris Perez, congrats, congrats. All right. So just make sure, Chris, let us know that you're in here. That way we can uh, just have you reach out to support at beardacting.com. That's awesome. That's a pretty sick gift, actually. Boom, boom, boom. I see him yet? He's got to be here. Yeah, just I push the up, hashtag. I got to open up the, uh, yeah. He's in here. I see him. I see him. tagged him awesome congrats chris all right brother just make sure you just reach out to that support at beardacting.com with all your information we'll get this right out to you this weekend all right moving on and trust me guys there's plenty more giveaways lots of got a lot of good stuff for you tonight all right remove that boom back to that that what well, just cover it. all right guys let us know in the chat what your favorite easter candy is i know there's a, a few things in there there's uh, three musketeers in there as well let us know what you're thinking reese's eggs Yep, that actually, said, oh, that's yeah. a clay toy. Forgot about that one. Those are good. Boom, boom, boom. What about? Did you ever have the uh, the Robin's eggs? Oh, the, are those like crunchy ones? I think it's like the um, like the crispy, almost like, like the, the hard um, outer shell with like chocolate. Yes, like those that. are good. Um, because there's the other ones that are almost like the um, it's a nested crunch, almost like that. But I know which ones you're talking like about. That one just a yeah. hard shell with the uh, just a straight chocolate in it. Uh, do you like jelly beans? Um, not really a big fan of jelly beans. Like the like the original jelly beans. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, like the original the, ones, um, eh. and then if the it, flavored it, ones. If like it's the... a flavor ones, if they're good, I hate like the gross. Like oh yeah, they have like the ones that are like absolutely disgusting. Oh, we like, had one that was um, like popcorn and like all I that think stuff. We tried something that was like taco. Ugh. I, I don't know. They, yeah, they, was, they got some nasty. They yeah. had like like throw up or like barf or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Like Skittles uh, jelly beans. Those are Skittles good. Like are stuff good. like yeah. that. That's really like good. The jelly jelly bellies are the ones that do the um, like the crazy peeps. <laughs> I just always get peeps all the time. Yeah. The the Cadbury eggs. <clears throat> what else we got? Yeah. The, oh, that's Starburst right. The Starburst, ones, though, yeah. the Starburst ones. Those ones are really good. Yeah. No kidding with the yeah the sugar free Easter candy. I don't know if it's if it really counts as candy. It doesn't have a sugar uh, in it yeah. though. All right. See what we got next. All right, this one's going to be another poll. Let me just pull this up. What do your kids like for candy? Uh, Anything? What do they like? Uh, Kit Kats. Owen likes the York Peppermint Patties. Uh, Emmett likes Twix. Twix is like, that's actually a really good one. Yeah, Twix. Yeah. Uh, what else do they like? I think that's it. Like lollipops. Yeah, you know anything like that. Jack's likes all the sour stuff. So do I, though. Oh, what did Emmett have? I think he had was it um, 
the sound like warheads i think oh that's it that's like how, did <laughs> you like it he, though i think he had one jackson like, actually eat them like yeah the warhead like the real sour hard candies yeah i think he had one he said it was i think it was mild he wasn't like <laughs> you know like puckered up like lips puckered up whatever but yeah, those ones. I hit. think he had one for uh, like in, in like in Halloween. He goes, "Oh, I just had like a warhead." And like, oh, yeah, yeah, that that'll, that'll, that'll destroy you. All right, all right, guys. Another question that's going to be leap to a, another uh, prize afterwards. What color was the first Easter egg? Hmm. What do you think, Eric? Mm, I'll say yellow. Yellow. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say. I know the answer, but I'm going to trick you guys. I'm going to say purple. So it's either red or orange. And I'm going to pull this up in a second. I'll say yellow. Oh, it's behind the scenes sneakiness. Now, let's see what we got in the poll here. Wow. All right. Ooh, this is close. So purple, we're at 27%. Yellow, 43%. Red, 24%. And orange is 7%. So we'll go ahead and add that, see what we got. Boom. All right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, white. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> or it could have been a brown. You, you, ne you never know. All right. So you, you said yellow? Yeah. All right. Went with purple. Ah. Red. <clears throat> da, da, da. All hmm. right, guys. All right, Eric. So was that an accident? What's that? That it was red? Was it an accident that it was red? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't. I had to make the first one red. I don't know. You didn't look I, it up. No, she I just. I, I, I got ninety other things <laughs> yeah. going on in my life. Gonna, I need I'm going to research facts. why it was red. I need some facts. Why okay. was it red? Well, well, how do you really know it was really the first Easter egg color? I don't know. Okay. Well, the, maybe the how come you don't know? Maybe the. I'm not going to get graphic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just pick up a bag. <laughs> All right, guys. For this one. And we'll, we'll get to what it's going to be. This one's going to be for the Cold Start Beard Octane Easter Basket Giveaway. Again, LCW oil, butter, bomb. You got the soap, you got the brush, and the heated beer brush as well. So go ahead and put in the hashtag red. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and again, guys, whenever you guys, uh, whoever wins, support at beard, beardoctane.com. Name, shipping address, boom, 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 cold start, Easter basket. Get that in there. Mm -mm -mm. What's today, Thursday? Yeah, yes. Thursday. Tomorrow's Good Friday. Kids are off from school. All right, well, we got a lot of reds in there. Okay, well, I, I saw a little... Uh, there you go. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate the uh, okay. little bracket. That makes sense. All right. Reds, reds, reds. Get a few more in there. Up to 63. We got 84 people in here, it looks like. Maybe a few more. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Boom. All right. To the stage. Send it up. We're going to go ahead and send this. 68, 69. Ooh, do it now. Send it. Oh, it's got to be a good one right there. Too early. Got to be oh, good. Oh, no, oh. I see right there. Ah! One off. Gingerbread man, congrats. Yay. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All right, brother. Just reach out to support at beardacting.com. Government name. Good shipping address. We'll get this right out to you. Won the cold start. Easter basket. All right. Make sure, yeah, he's, he's going to be in there because it's all hashtags. So, boom. Back to the stage. Oh, this, this one's a good one. All right, guys. <laughs> this next one's. <laughs> there's some. This one. <laughs> If you ever Google this, it's pretty creepy. Oh, so, gosh. which Easter bunny is the creepiest? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's worse than you. 
Oh my god! I wish <laughs> I, I should have looked at like what years these photos are from. Well, and I'll have like a whole collage at the end that way we can kind of compare. That kid's okay. like, I know this guy's like, Take me away now. <laughs> All right, so we got we got the pink bunny in this one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I think it's the teeth. It's psycho. The teeth. <laughs> Look at the eyes on that thing. <laughs> it's the eyes. Yeah, the the maniac. Teeth, <laughs> Here, children. All right, so between one and two. All right, here's here's one. Here's two. Which one do you think? Oh, it's got to be two. One. Yeah, there's something about those eyes. Because it's the eye and the teeth. Yeah, the that teeth one's maybe. like, okay. And this kid doesn't, he's like, eh, something's creepy, but not really sure yet. <laughs> but that one's like, And eh. this one's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> those buck teeth on that thing. Yeah, yeah two. All right, yeah, we got, we got a lot of twos in there. It's like Ben's. It looks like a goat. <laughs> Ben's week. It's Ben's weekend job. Goat. <laughs> All right, number three. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe how used to feather her hair like that. <laughs> that's like 1960s. That's that's old. I like the white mask. curly hair in that thing. He's got really hairy ears. Yeah, <laughs> notice that. All right, so that's three. Okay, so between two and three. What are you thinking? I'd still say two. Two? Yeah. All right. That's. Yeah, I, I agree. That one's just ugly. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, and that one's just creepy. Like... Yeah. All right. That one going. All right. And number four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true. that one. Just <laughs> oh look at dude. Oh, I just noticed this. Look at his eyes. You see his his right eye, how it's droopy. Yeah. Versus like his left eye, which is like Rrr. it's like it looks like sloth from Goonies. Dude, hey, you guys. He's got a flower pot for an Easter basket. <laughs> this poor kid. Look at this guy. All right. Hey, what so, am I sitting on? What's on his nose? Like to the left. Know. Like, like he's probably a cigarette burn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy, holy crap is right. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, all right. So yeah, the creepiest be, yeah. two. Yeah, that's still creepy. This one's just. <laughs> oh, <I can't... laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> all right. So creepiest so far. Well, all right. Which one's the ugliest, though? The ugliest has got to be that one. Yeah, that's got to be that. Yeah. At least that one's trying. Yeah, that one's somewhat accurate. You know, that one looks like from a book. <laughs> it right. looks like it's that one's a book. A, I guess it's not as bad. That one's creepy. And that guy. That one's just funny. That, yeah, <laughs> this, I just love look like he got like if I saw like his eyes ball, about to come I out. I would be serious. I'd be like, <laughs> he sit in his lap, his eyeball falls out and his, <laughs> falls yeah. in his bucket. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, Five. Man. These poor kids. <laughs> <laughs> this guy i think i'd be crying too uh, it's, oh my god yeah look at this. that one's pretty that creepy too mangy. that one's got rabies yeah it's, it's got rabies <laughs> yeah i know right that one does it's yeah all right so i i think we could probably agree i would still say two yeah One, look at that thing. That thing is devious. Look at that. <laughs> that that's the, I want, that's I, my that's my favorite. I want that one. <laughs> that one. You that bunny head. Guess, guess what you're getting? For me. That's <laughs> yeah, gonna be your next so. costume. I'm gonna make it for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, we we kind of. I was gonna throw a poll, but it, I thought they uh, YouTube poll gave you <laughs> let you do five entries, so I dropped it down to four. Yeah, so just let us know, guys. One through four, which one's your, I guess, your creepiest. I I, I think two is going to be the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jeff from the trailer park. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I, I think two is going to be the, uh, the clear cut in that one. All right, let me uh, double check by... Bum, bum, bum. All right, we're good. All right. So with that being said, enter the following hashtag for Eric. What we got? 
You're not picking up the same ones, are you? No. <laughs> no. It's sassy. This is for the victory Easter egg or Easter <laughs> basket. Oil, butter, bomb, soap, brush, eat a brush, and candy. Butter. And candy <laughs> as well. Lots of candy in there. So I put, put candy in the butter. In the butter. Yeah, that's it's <laughs> melted M&Ms in there. Yeah, it's mixed in with the butter. Melted chocolate <laughs> <and> peanut butter. <laughs> Let's put that in your beard. All right, guys. Enter the hashtag. Creepy. Da, 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 da. Go ahead and type that in there, guys, and we'll get the uh, the drawing for that as well. Look at this. This fancy little bow. It's a pretty nice basket, too. Pretty impressed. Did you hand weave these I yourself? did, actually. Yes. Yeah. It's got the handles on the side. Very nice. Not too bad, huh? Not too shabby. I may say so myself. And guys, don't forget, beardocting.com, 10% off everything. No codes needed. So uh, MV is cent of the month for that. That's already marked down 10%. So you get 20% off of that. And you got a code in there somewhere, throw that in there. But you get that extra 10% off, no codes needed. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. And that is valid. The sale is going on through Sunday at midnight. So all weekend long. Oh, we got oh, almost 80 entries on this one. Boom. All right, guys. 79. It's going to be 80. 81. Oh, yeah. Send it. Nose. All right. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's going to be a good one. Let's see if we get it just right. Oh, right Tony mark. T. That was butter. Congrats, Tony. God. That big beer get you taken care of. So, Tony, make sure you reach out to support at beardocting.com, government name, and a good shipping address, and we'll get this right out to you this weekend as well. So, congrats on that, Tony. Let him know in the chat. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Let's see what we got next. Add to the stage. Ooh. We'll throw, we'll throw a poll for this one. All right, guys, let us know what you thought. Actually, you know, I'm gonna, I'll throw a poll real quick. Take two seconds. You guys just be patient. Texas, Florida, California, California. Boom. All right, guys, I threw a poll up in the chat. Just let us know. <clears throat> it may surprise you. Hmm. It might just surprise you. Eric, what do you think? I'm going to say Texas. Texas? Yeah. Why? They do everything big in Texas. Well, okay. All right. That's that's a good call. All right. Everybody get down. All right. We got Texas, Alabama. A lot of Texas in there. Texas, Alabama. Texas or Florida, that's California's got a lot of people. Texas, 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 Bama. What's up, Buzz? Guys, make sure you follow Buzz A91 Customs on Instagram. Let's see that trophy. He is responsible for, I came up with a design idea, of course, but <laughs> for the Beer Tober Best Beard Contest that we put on every year. He's the craftsman that assembled this beautiful work of art for us. So I'm sure he'll come up with something even craftier for next year. And I believe, according to him, this is the exact same height as an Emmy, if I'm not mistaken. Oscar? But, Emmy? Or Oscar. Or, I said, well, uh, uh, same size as, a trophy, fancy as a trophy out there, whatever. But yeah, make sure you follow Buzz. He's doing a lot of awesome custom woodwork and stuff and just a good buddy of mine. So all right, see what else we got in there. Boom. All right, one in this poll. So we got we got forty eight percent say Texas, Florida's nineteen, said eleven, California eleven, Alabama twenty two. Wow. All right. And that poll. All right, you said Texas. Texas, yeah. I'm gonna say Florida. <laughs> That's actually it's surprising. Like, when I read that, I was like, really? Yeah. Well, said, that would probably be like a second guess because it's. I don't, well, I, I figure all like warm weather states, but Florida is just yeah. So know. Florida, yeah, I was looking at it and it didn't get the ex the numbers obviously, but I was thinking when I first read, it, I was like, it's got to be Texas or California. That's, yeah, that's why I thought like Texas because it's I don't know. 
and I was trying to I was going to throw in a different uh, state and I was like yeah, Alabama just throw them off Montana yeah Montana Connecticut <laughs> Rhode Island <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah awesome there's a little fun fact for you guys on Sunday you guys can you guys can share these so all right guys hashtag oh wait crap wait I got it. man I was doing so good don't do it yet all right good now you can do it so if you guys have to type it in twice hashtag Florida and that's gonna be it for our last I think is that number four yep. Easter basket giveaway and that one's gonna be it's like grizzly puncher oh grizzly puncher oil butter bomb butter so LCW brush heated brush candy card sticker basket plastic bows all for you hashtag Florida get it in there now we'll take a bunch of questions got over 100 people in here make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button here Let's see what we got give you guys another minute We'll pop that up. We're at 73 entries, 74. Let's get up there. Let's make this a good one, guys. All right, see what we got coming up. I'm trying to, I got a third monitor over here, so I don't jump too far ahead and give away any secrets. All right. I think we're good after this. All right, 77. Let's try to break 80. Three more. Come on. 78. 80. There you go. All right, guys. Again, for the Grizzly Puncher Beard Octane Easter Basket giveaway. 81. Send it. Two, three, one. See how we make out on this one. Oh, nice got job. it right on there, too. Bigfoot Gaming. Gastric Bigfoot 7 Gaming. Congrats, buddy. Again. Support at beardocting.com. Shoot us an email, government name, good shipping address, and we'll get this right out to you. Yeah, that, yeah that'd be awesome. Whap. Punch it right in the face. Yeah, congrats on that again. And thank you for everyone hanging around to try to win something. So, with that, you guys got questions for Beard Octane? We can hang out. We well, actually we did pretty good. I thought we were going to go a little bit longer, trying to get those prizes out, kind of chill out. I got some. Questions already start up there, so let us know. You guys got questions for the team? What's coming up? Ooh. 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 Where's that thing? What thing? That thing. Oh, that thing? That thing. That thing. My water? That thing. Oh. Yeah. This? That. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Um, oh, dang. How oh, I missed it. I know. Oh, yeah. All right. What did you do? Yeah. I, yeah. It's, it's kind of too late. Sorry. Um, yeah. All right. So while you guys answer, ask some questions out there, and I'll, I'll start and we'll, we'll get to them. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. So, kind of like a little teaser, what we have in the works behind the scenes. It was like I kind of mentioned during our last stream. Um, we, we always send out our customer survey every year and we ask a whole array of questions. Uh, what do you love about us? What do you hate about us? What we can do better? Uh, what you would like to see from us, uh, from sense to product types, all the above. We, we take a lot of pride of taking your guys' feedback and instilling into the brand. This, this brand is built because of you guys and your guys' feedback, positive and negative. We listen to all of it. Um, a big product that we've gotten asked for repeatedly for that has been in the works and for, by me uh -huh. for, for a little bit. Well, cause you need to start wearing something. Um, I know it's getting is bad. sure to do a little. Should just done the toilet brush. Oh, it should. <laughs> what if you don't guess it right? It's going to be something for your, something for your pits, pits. and all natural. Deodorant. Look at this. Look at this little tester. Ooh, nice. Gotta hide your face. Ooh, silky smooth. It won't fix your 
yellow mustard stained t-shirts, Eric. But I know. But yeah, so that was one of the products among others that we've you know part of the survey yeah. that we get asked for quite often. Um, so that's been in the works for a bit. We're in the testing phases, and I think we got it pretty dialed in. So it's just in regards to what sense we're going to release it in the packaging, labeling, all that fun stuff. That's that that's kind of like the easy part. Now we got the um, the foundation, the base of the product um, built into, uh, put together and tested. It's only going to be available in nitro. So that's it. That's it. You're, you're going to blueberry. Knows. You're going to be blueberry coffee pits. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be licking your armpit by the end of the day. <laughs> so, but yeah. So. The old natural deodorant that could be on the horizon coming up soon. We have a few things left to do um, in regards to that, but just want to kind of give you guys a little teaser that we do listen to what you have to say, and it, it could be coming very soon. We'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, it's going to, yeah, um, just real quick on the um, deodorant, no baking soda in it. Um, we looked at different versions and, and testing stuff like that. A lot of people have irritations or breakouts or, um, issues with the baking soda, the way it reacts. So that definitely not in it. We'll get into once we release it, what the ingredients are, what the purpose of them. Um, it's from the testing. It's been absolutely amazing. We had some, we oh, yeah. made some MV testers and I've never used personally all natural deodorant before. And I oh, was, really? yeah, I was kind of skeptical of like how well it worked. But when we did the testing, I, to yeah, the I gym, see. I like switched full. about two years ago. Yeah. And then when I, because this is the tester, like in these containers, but we had the tester before just to check it out, like in whatever she sent. Yep. And it, when we, I didn't have any scent, so it was unscented, and I didn't have any problems with um, like any body odor or anything. And this is like unscented. And then, like I said, I, I'm not sure like what the complete ingredients were, but, and I know everybody's different, but yeah, I did not have any breakouts or reactions yeah um to any of this so yeah i'm i'm excited to yeah actually get have this in it. like our um awesome. our mainline i'm tired sense. of smelling awesome. you. yeah you know so that's gonna be uh one of the maybe some few other things but that one's definitely on on the horizon coming up for you guys so yeah. um yeah ask away any questions guys let it let us know i'm gonna hit some of the ones i highlighted um <clears throat> jp suggestions for the app dark mode option so actually part of this new software that we went with, we can pre-build out different themes. I got to see if we can have it so you can select what theme you want to use. So whether it's like a light background or a darker background, I'll look into that. I'm still learning some of the features, but it has a lot more customization options on the back end for the app. So like if, say with the, there's a holiday coming up, I can make a totally custom Christmas theme app design layout um so and have it scheduled so it kicks on automatically and turns off automatically so a lot of stuff that just makes it a lot easier on our end when we have 90 other things going on to be able to you know get the information out to you guys through the app and really a, a, just an overall awesome i guess customer experience when you come to our app we try to keep it very clean simple easy to navigate um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy i know the feedback's been absolutely amazing on it so um, I'll, I'll definitely look into that. Keep you guys posted. If I can, if I can figure that out, that'd be pretty cool. Actually. Um, apple pie. Wow. 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 Um, <laughs> that was a, a real popular scent, but just, it came down to like, I mean, you guys know I've had some of my personal favorites go bye bye. Um, yeah. just because, you know, just pop this full screen. Um, just because of, of sales and, and, business as Holly likes to likes to say um i don't think she always spells it correctly but it's a business and you have to run it as, as such and just sometimes it, your personal feelings have to go aside i personally love the apple pie um but check out america that's got apples in it with the the cedar the oak and everything like that so that's pretty close to but our seasonal sense too that may have some apple in it coming up but yeah right now apple pie is not slated to come back so all right, the 10%. Yep, runs to the weekend. It's going to go through. Yep, and then, hint, hint, if you have a code, you can stack that on top of it. So a lot of affiliates, affiliates out there have 10% discount codes. Find somebody, add an extra 10% on top of that. So that would mean Envy, that's the set of the month, is already 10% off. That would be down to 30% off 
and then 10% on the sale, 10% from the discount, 20% off. So that's going to run through Sunday night, midnight. So don't take advantage of that. All right. What else we got? Fall back. Is that one coming back, Eric? You better say yes. Yeah, that was... Um, <laughs> We released that. Was that in the Twelve Days of Beers Miss Bot? Or no, that was before that. Oh, that was the Advent calendar, right? That was yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. From and then we the, brought it back. The year for back. The um, the fall scent. Yep. So year. that one is um, that one's going to be probably a, a less something changes, probably a, a permanent fixture for some time in our in our seasonal rotation. That one is an amazing scent, and then um, especially around the holidays and coming into the fall and everything like that. So. Yeah. That's uh Definitely. look forward to that, especially who knows, maybe soap or stuff like that. But that's uh that's definitely coming back, so stay tuned. We got a lot of cool seasonal stuff. We deodorant. have our six year, would say. I said deodorant. Oh <laughs> actually I would that probably be a pretty good deodorant too. Thank you. Um <laughs> we have our six year anniversary coming up already. July. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. I got something cool. I gotta actually get get cooking on that. I got some really cool ideas for that. All right, what else we got? Boom. Yep, we covered that. The deodorant. Yep. Uh safety razor. I don't know that I think there may be some still on hey Dan. Uh up on the site, but we actually have some new ones that I am working on bringing in and also kind of stepping up, even though we're we're kind of against like shaving, but just overall, I guess maintenance. You know, when it comes to like shaving with the razors, the we have our aloe uh, shave gel. We may have something else that may be coming out that's going to probably also help with that as well. It's just so, going to be a Rambo knife. That, that's it. Just a, a fixed blade, dough edge, send it. All right. What else we got here? A scale question. Replica. Yeah. Guys, throw the, um, on the questions, throw the, the little cue in the front. That actually helps pretty good. Do, do, do. What else we got? Yeah, Robert, for the uh, deodorant, we just have a few things. That we're just narrowing down what the final, I guess, the initial sense for release are going to be. And then, honestly, probably this week, I'll get going on developing the, I guess, creating the the labels. Maybe I'll, I want to do like a live stream one time, just um, like as I'm like creating like labels or something like that. I don't know if people be interested in that, just like creating on Photoshop and stuff like that. Just yeah. see how I kind of do everything and lose my mind. So, um, but yeah, I would say have your mute button ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just censor. I'll just play back our music <laughs> by the, um, I don't know, maybe by the next stream. What is it? Oh man, that's coming up. That'd be around the Barber Expo, I think. Or eight. No, we'll probably have one in April. Like, yeah. We'll see. Well, it's, it's, it's definitely on the, um, a big push on our end. It's just testing with some of the fragrance and stuff like that. Just making sure there's no adverse reactions. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get it out to you guys. All right, see what else we got. Uh, you know what? Good question. Beef Octane on sale. I will, let me, um, Jake, I will, after the stream, I will, I'll, I'll throw a sale for uh, Beef Octane for the weekend as well. So we just uh, rushed last, well, I want to say rush, and kind of launched a little bit early. So, um. Got that. Just cruise to the question, guys. Next great scent. They're all great scents. Um, we have a few that we're working on. Um, I gotta get with Eric and, and Holly and the rest of the, the team. We have um I I like to make it a, another all essential oil fragrance. Um we got yeah. some really good yeah, I got I, we got some ideas of some uh Holly knows scents like Nobody's business. So she sent some really good woodsy type scents. We got something we're kind of crafting on right now. So that, and then also, like I said, the the six year anniversary coming up last year, we did the Liberty box that had three different um, scents in it. So look for something. We're going to have something pretty awesome for this and um, cool little, I would say story behind it, but it'll, it'll be pretty good. Um, aftershave. Uh, that's something we're, we're looking into. Like uh, obviously with the the razors and everything like that, that that could be something on the um, shaving. Yeah, coming up. So I mean, for your head, can we get OG Beard Octane Tea guys? Oh, in red. 
Uh, we could look at that. It, like it's kind of tough with apparel because not so much like the the mark, like the price and stuff like that. But it's just kind of tough because you get so many of one size, you have to cover all the sizes to take care of everybody. And and swag isn't the the biggest mover. It's just something that kind of like one of those necessary evils you have to have. So that we'll we'll look at that because we're um, we kind of dropped it down to three different t-shirts: the built by hard work. Um, facial fur, uh, fuel, and the classic Beard Octane logo. So we can we could look at something like that. I'm sure Holly would love that. Da -da -da. <laughs> Bourbon? You never know. Do you have a daily wash bar and a stripping wash bar? So our body soap is designed for the, obviously, your body. We have the liquid beard wash, the LCW, super insane lather to it. Um, it's That's about a pH of about around eight waters of seven so it's good for daily wash it's not going to strip your beard out it's going to moisturize lather everything up our solid beard wash bar that has a ph of 5.5 so it's actually less than water so absolutely everyday use in regards to like stripping um pot we don't really body bar yeah i would say the body bar for the, like the especially like the cold star or something like that that one's a real good one as well um in regards to like stripping everything like that but our yeah. daily wash, everything like that, though, is going to be safe. They're not going to be stripping or anything like that. Um, yeah, refill for oils. <laughs> just get, just buy a bottle and just dump that bottle into the other bottle. It'd be good there to you go. go. That yeah. works. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, just a couple more questions in here. Oh, Easter dinner sent. <laughs> oh, my really gosh. Happy. Uh, what else? Yeah, we got some we have actually dirt fragrance we can uh we can come up with something pretty cool um dirt and eggs uh shampoo i well who are we gonna test it on what shampoo <laughs> um you can use the lcw as regular hair shampoo it's not gonna strip it or anything like that um thing i mean we we start getting into like hair we carried some hair products before but you start getting into that rabbit hole of chasing I mean, we're beard brands. We're trying to keep it pretty tight to beer, you know, beer products. But you start getting to like the hair products and stuff like that. Um, you can start chasing the stuff forever. We used to have a liquid body wash, but we converted to the solid beer. Soap, uh, yeah, yeah the, the soap and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I saw a question about the, the packaging. Have you guys um, made a purchase within the last month? So what are your thoughts on the new packaging? Definitely. Uh, I think uh, that America one's pretty cool with it. They could definitely um, stepped up the overall appearance of the brand and everything like that. So, oh, oh, oh you, <laughs> you, <laughs> I was gonna call you the other day. Oh, the other day, so I didn't know if it was you because I was. So I came home the other day and I opened up the door, the storm, the the front door of the shop. Yeah, and the door. The wind catches it, oh, but I let I whatever, and it goes flying like <laughs> whap, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, the chain came up. I'm like, where's the chain? <laughs> so I'm like looking for it, and I see it's packing taped up to the wall, and I look at the door, and there's a screw taped to the door. So I'm like, did somebody, did the door go flying, and nobody told me that? No one told you? Well, I didn't. I didn't know. So I'm like, <laughs> so I asked, yeah, you know, I asked Heather and Courtney. I'm like, and then they're like. No, we we didn't. Whatever we're like, we would have told you. I'm like, who's not going to tell me? Just put tape on it and put and tape the screw to the door. So I'm like, I think Eric would have done it. I'm like, all right. I was like, wait, do I see Eric? I'm going to break his stone. So I'm like, let me call my dad. <laughs> I'm not going to say it was him, but <laughs> oh, were you here? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> he, he was the one that told me about it, but I didn't know he taped the screw to the door until so, like yesterday. So I call him like, hey. Did the door happen to go flying any other day when it was windy? And uh, he's like, yeah, but he, but he's like, yeah, I told Heather. I'm like, and Heather's standing there. I'm like, I got my dad's speakerphone. I'm like, oh, well, she failed to tell me that. And then, so they start arguing and thing. I'm like, I was, cause I was about to say, I was like, I was about to light Eric's, you know, butt on fire and be like, dude, you're like, just shoot me a text and let me know. I'm like, cause I see the screw taped to the door and there's no chain. No, yeah. yeah. So, no, so, your dad's like, be careful of the door. Cause the chain yeah. popped off. I was like, okay. Yeah. But then I think it was like. Tuesday or Wednesday that I looked 
and I saw the screw taped to the door. I thought it was funny because he taped it to the door, but I didn't know he didn't tell no, you about well, it. Well, I didn't talk about it. He told Heather, so I'm like, all right, okay. he's off the hook because at least he took the red ball and he passed it to Heather, and yeah. there was a breakdown communication there somewhere, but yeah, uh, it was just a little... I just thought of it. I had to, had to bring it because I'm sure they're watching right now, so... All right, guys, we're going to... um. I guess kind of wrap it up. We hit, uh, I think most of all the, the, yeah, I think yeah, the packaging does look awesome. The boxes. Buzz knows. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Actually, his yeah. son goes to school for Buzz. Let him know uh, what the exact term is. Is it like packaging engineering or something like that? But his, his son's actually in school for like all the machinery and stuff like that. That does oh, packaging because cool. I mean, there's like a whole science behind it. But yeah, pretty cool. So him and his son came out, uh, Elliot came out a couple weeks ago and checked out the shop and everything gave him a tour and stuff like that and oh, someone cool. yeah someone was all into it it's pretty cool yeah and uh, i think having those like at the shows like once we have it like out yeah on display i think it's gonna make it look that's why we talk about changing up sharper that. we gotta figure that out for the um right yeah uh packaging science engineering yeah it so okay. it's pretty cool so it, it, it i think it was kind of cool you got to come out seeing like going to school for it, but you actually see it in in the work, works. you know, yeah. actually being utilized is pretty yeah. cool. Right. Um, but yeah, with the, the show and everything like that, trying to see what the layout's gonna be because I'm like, I really want to show off that packaging. Right. I think with the box, this is more eye appealing. Yeah, it yeah. just looked at it, it's like wow. Cause even like today, I had a, before the show, I I put Grizzly Puncher in the oil and the so I ran out. I think I ran out of victory or whatever. So I ran out to the shop, grabbed it, ran inside the house, and I'm like, Oh my like, oh man, I had to <laughs> open up the box, take the 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 heat shrink seal. I'm like, wow, this actually looks like really legit. I'm <laughs> right. like, yeah, you know, you and never you know that we like do this stuff by I'm hand. Like, do I want to keep the box? Yeah, it was, was well, honestly, I was like, oh man, I can reuse it. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like, wow, it's really nice. I'm like, I'm like, I just I can put just my knickknacks in here. Yeah, it's time for act putting room for activities. So, <laughs> all right, guys, let's um, ba boom. All right, I think with that being said. Just want to say thank you to everyone for tuning in tonight. Uh, tomorrow's a good Friday. This weekend is Easter. If you celebrate Easter, happy Easter to everyone. Um, if you're out this weekend, be safe. Um, try and think we'll have another stream scheduled uh, stream probably towards the end of April before the barbershop expo. Then we're going to have some live stuff. I'm going to try doing some live stuff from the expo this year. And then obviously... We come back on that Monday night. We had the live stream with Dan here in the studio. Trying to think what else. But this weekend, I'm going to be in the shop quite a bit. So maybe we'll jump on for a real relax live just to, I don't know, figure out something. So, oh, yeah. How are we yelling at me? Are we playing a video? I'll play videos. You guys want some videos? Yes, let's play right, some, videos. some videos. All right. Yeah. So let's do this. Let me change the background so it looks professional. Can't take Kali anywhere. She just yells at me on the back seat. All right. So you saw the original. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah all right. Video. So you saw the original Easter Bunny video. I did. Yep. So obviously Eric doesn't have the. Oh, you don't have the Easter Bunny ha hat on. So the other night, so I got the the cameras in the shop. So I just it, it, when the lights are off, it has like infrared or like night vision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the one camera on the loft shoots across the whole shop yeah. and the, it's glowing. It's the bunny head on top of the rack just <laughs> oh, staring yeah. at the camera. I'm like, that's, now that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely creepy. Not as bad as that picture, but all right. So then um, how come you don't have the helmet anymore? Ah, let's, let's find let, out. Let, let's find out. All right, let me see if I could do this. We're going to step out for a minute. I really love the wow. Courtney, since you're the new hire, you get to wear the bunny head this year. Okay. Oh, what the And why does this smell like blueberry coffee? Oh. I love nitro. Yes. <laughs> the, the best part is that you can hear that. <laughs> when I first watched it, I was like, <laughs> all right, disclaimer. Glug, glug, glug. It's not beard oil in the bottles. So don't start chugging beard oil to be like Eric. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> what's up Cruz? what's going on um yeah it's unreal <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so eric has i guess apparently passed the the bunny, the bunny head to All word every now and then yeah every now, now and then back into it for nostalgia purposes there's another video but i can't i, I can't play it on here because I don't know if a block is a copyright. I'll play on this. I'll play. Maybe I'll play a story later on tonight that'll have uh, oh, yeah. Eric dancing. So yeah, exactly. When it, uh, the first time I saw, it, I was like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, <laughs> "Did he really just commit himself to like taking two balls of nitro and like?" I just here, I'll play it again. It's like it's you just that was actually take two because I chugged four. So because before like the uh, oh did you really <laughs> yeah they could they couldn't get the uh the volume to work like the microphone. oh the uh the mic so we're like oh it didn't work it's like oh I gotta do it again yeah, so, yeah. I'll, I'll play one more time <laughs> Courtney since you're the new hire you get to wear the bunny head this year okay I love nitro. It's so so dumb. <laughs> oh my god! What what have we created? <laughs> it's good for the tummy. <laughs> oh my word! Yeah, when I first saw that, I was like, "Oh my <laughs> word!" He just went ham. Oh, I'm trying to think else. I forgot. I always forget my giveaway videos. Look at the oil. Oh, so what else we got? Oh man, you did. Look at the oil machine video. Just play them anyway. Which one? And any of the giveaway one. Oh, the giveaway one. <laughs> Oh, this one I was I wanted to play this one. Congratulations. Yeah, I, for, I totally forgot that one. And if you contest all that stuff. All right. Yeah, the only other videos I got upload onto here is the uh, oil machine. That should be here. That's clearing customs right now. That should be here. Any yeah, so if you guys missed the last stream, we had a um we have a fully automated oil film machine that we're bringing into the facility. So things are getting a little cramped in here, but here, check this out. It's, it's pretty cool. That's gonna be pretty nice. I don't know where we're gonna put everything, but <laughs> I'll put it outside. Yeah, we'll, yeah. <laughs> it comes from the, that garage into this little we'll, we'll <laughs> right. tunnel it's across the driveway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's like Skyway of yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so that that's coming. Um, yeah, just um, trying to find another a different kind of label machine for the tins and stuff like that. So just trying to, I guess, improve overall you know production just to keep up with the demand which is, it, it's a good thing um it's a lot of it because of you guys and truly grateful and wouldn't be here without you guys so we're, we're truly humbled and thank you because of it but just uh yeah just trying to keep growing and yeah streamline it you know make it you know that way eric has less to complain about but yeah i like to complain i got the have you been using the uh the cap tightener for the lcws no i didn't because the way that it's set up right now. Oh, is it it's like, like a different bottle? It's or? like separated. The way that I pour it. 
Oh, I'll, I'll have to explain. Uh, yeah, to just, yeah, Eric already broke it. I'll give you a visual cool. diet. Yeah, I like to break machinery. <laughs> That's already, why I get the new stuff. <laughs> he, already, he, already, he already broke it. All right. All right. All right, guys. So with that, I don't think we've got anything else to really cover. So a lot of stuff for the next stream. Maybe a new product release. I don't know. Um, Barber Expo coming up. We have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I got a meeting with Holly tomorrow so I can get yelled at. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's about it. So, everyone in the chat, thank you for tuning in tonight. Take an hour. You guys uh, busy schedule, so we really appreciate it. Um, thank you to my team, Eric, Courtney, Heather, Susie Q, I'm a Octane, um, Big Joe, Rad Joe, uh, Holly, Mo, everyone else that behind the scenes that makes it happen. Uh, truly grateful for you guys. So thank you for putting up with the insanity uh, to my family. That's pretty much all you guys. So thank <laughs> you. And with that being said, bye. Any last words, Eric? No, I just thanks for everybody for coming out. Having a great time and enjoy your weekend. All right, guys. Uh, again, good Friday tomorrow. If you're off, enjoy the day with the family if you can. And then yeah. Sunday, happy Easter, everyone. Brush your teeth and we'll get those uh, gift baskets out to everybody. And, uh, have a good night. Go Huskies. That's right, guys. Who left? Yeah, who left? Let me Come see. On. What's the count? You know there was somebody in there that knows. Come on. Never leave an Octane stream early. Guys, $500 mystery box giveaway. Um, we're going to put tons of stuff we don't want. Old stuff, used stuff. We're going to fill it to the brim just for you guys. So thank you for sticking around. We're going to go ahead. We're already set up. Fill it ba -ba -ba -boom. To the brim packing peanuts. Hashtag happy Easter. Throw it in the chat. Give you guys a few minutes, and we'll draw this puppy and get out of here for real because the Huskies are on. I think they're – check right now. Probably on now. 40, 40 to 31, Yukon up. Boom, boom, boom. So. What was that first half? Yeah, that was a half, so that was a few ago, so it's probably getting in there. Cool. Ba boom they've been absolutely on fire all right guys get in there happy easter 32 we got ba -ba boom i'm gonna work on a new intro uh intro intro for the stream i got a few things in the works Ooh, change it up yeah all right get them in get them in get them in 43 give you guys like another 30 seconds Just remind me to play the other one afterwards. All right, guys, for the five hundred dollar mystery box giveaway, hashtag Happy Easter. Don't Dude. forget, contact support at beardacting.com to claim your prize, government name, and complete shipping address. Here we go. Go for all the eggs in one basket. Two, three, four, five. So we got it. Oh, 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 oh. Three for three. Got that, I was in. There. I got it down now. Bearded Florida man. Has he won before? I think so. I think he has won. Probably won a, a five hundred dollar giveaway before. <laughs> <laughs>
congrats, brother. Make sure you reach out to support at beardoctane.com and just get that information over to us. We'll get that right out to you, brother. Congrats. $500 mystery box giveaway. We'll make sure anyone who's ever won one of our mystery boxes is gets hooked up. So again, guys, from our team, I right, just make sure you I support, yeah, just make sure he has that. Play your congrats video. Oh, dang it. Is that your uncle? Yes. yes. <laughs> now it's official that you won. So, all right, guys, again, from our team to you guys, huge thank you. Um, like I said, we're going to be in the shop working away this weekend. So maybe we'll, we'll jump on live Instagram live or something like that. Follow our socials at beard octane, Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok. If it doesn't get banned soon and make sure you like, and subscribe, uh, the YouTube channel. We have a bunch of videos. I got to edit this week that we're going to be uploaded. So make sure you follow, uh, subscribe and you get notifications and that's it. So Eric, that's it, man. Hit the button. All right, guys. Go watch some basketball. Peace yeah. out, Cub Scout. Happy Easter. <laughs> Stay night, safe. Everybody. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.